Hi guys, I just want to give you an update regarding the recent travel protocol of the Philippine government. So the latest is uh, about vaccinated passengers. So the vaccinated passengers are now exempted in the RT-PCR test. So if you're a passenger traveling the Philippines and you've been vaccinated in the Philippines, then you are exempted in the RT-PCR test and 14-day quarantine. So this is true if you are a Filipino or foreigner who have been vaccinated in the Philippines. So guys, what if you have been uh, vaccinated in other countries? So the Philippines doesn't over, uh, honor yet the uh, vaccine ID from other countries it doesn't matter if you're a Filipino citizen or a foreigner if you've been vaccinated in other country then the Philippines will not honor your vaccination card so the government where you have been vaccinated should coordinate with our country first so the, the vaccine passport or vaccination card or COVID-19 ID will be honored in the Philippines. Now guys, let's move to the next topic. So if you're a passenger coming to the Philippines, you have to download the ECIF. If you are landing in Terminal 1, there is a website for you. If you are landing in Terminal 2, there is also another website. They have diverted to Cebu some flights, but now they already um, those flights are already landing in the in the IA. So the diverted flights are only from uh, second uh, to first uh, two weeks of June, but now. The flights are not diverted anymore, so you're going to land in IA terminals if you're flying to Manila. I'm not familiar if there are flights coming to Cebu. So I'm only talking about uh, Philippine Airlines. So guys, another thing is you have to download those, uh, those uh, links and then you have to fill it up. Because it's very important that you get the QR code. The QR code will be presented here. And then you have to download also the uh, affidavit of undertaking and you have to fill it up. Uh, inside the airplane, you're going to fill up the uh, health declaration card. But uh, in the airport, you're going to present the QR code and uh, affidavit of undertaking. And um, the first step upon arrival, is uh, they're going to uh, give you a briefing I have so many videos of airport scenarios if you watch one of those videos you're going to be familiar what are the uh, scenarios in the airport there are also videos where the passengers ask questions uh, to the Coast Guard and then you can uh, make it as your reference when you travel the Philippines because uh, during the briefing you can ask questions to the Coast Guard there is a Coast Guard officer that they're going to give you a briefing and then um, after that you can proceed to the uh, after that you can proceed to the um, uh, what is it um, briefing and then uh, temperature check after the temperature check you will go to the um, hotel confirmation so in the hotel confirmation they're going to decide if they're going to give you a seven day quarantine or a 14 day quarantine but as i have said if you have a, uh, this id you know when you have been vaccinated in the philippines you just have to present it to the um, hotel booking uh, desk and then uh, you will be exempted in the RT-PCR test and 14-day quarantine another thing is um, 
the immigration check. So, uh, I mean, uh, you also have to present the QR code in the um, during the uh, hotel booking uh, uh, verification. And after that, I think you are going to uh, fall in line the immigration already. And then uh, you're going to take your luggage. Uh, by the way, guys, they're going to give you a sticker. Uh, it's a color color coded sticker. That's for the transport to the quarantine facility. So um, there is a sticker for um, if you're taking the hotel shuttle. There is a sticker for uh, van. There is a sticker for a metered taxi. There is a sticker for uh, pre-book taxi. So those are the. Um, uh, procedures in the airport and once in you once you are in the quarantine facility uh, you have to check yourself you know if if you are uh, experiencing a sore throat or uh, like for example um, loss of smell or uh, loss of taste and a dry cough so you have to inform the hotel desk anyway they're going to check your temperature every day I have a video of um, hotels, cheap hotels. So you can check my video about cheap hotels. So it's not a sponsored video. It's based on the um, opinions of uh, non-OFW travelers. But if you're a non-OFW, you can also uh, pre-book a hotel if you don't like the government facility. So you can watch also videos of uh, how to fill up the ECF. By the way, guys, during um, w once you're in the quarantine facility, you already have to coordinate with your LGU because so many passengers are stranded in Manila because they don't have this uh, app or acceptance letters from the LGU. The LGU is your last destination, your barangay or town. So you have to coordinate with your LGU, uh, ask help or from your relatives to get the acceptance letter. So um, there are uh, three, three um, apps that you can choose from. I mean, it depends on the LGU, what, what is the app they, they're using. Some LGU, they use the Trace app. Some LGU, they use Stay Safe. And uh, there is another another app, you know. I have videos of those three apps, the procedures on how to download them. They are very, very important, and you don't have to disregard it. You don't disregard it. Otherwise, they're not going to they're not gonna, uh, let you board a domestic flight, or uh, they're not going to let you enter the pier if you don't have the proper documents so it depends on the LGU what are the documents that they require each LGU are not the same each LGU are not the same so you have to ask your relatives and you have to uh, take a look at the um, Facebook groups of your LGU I'm sure there are Facebook groups in, in each LGU you can ask the um, you can post a question there what are the requirements for traveling in your province? Another thing, guys, uh, what are the common problems of the uh, passengers is the food in the hotel. So, guys, the food in the hotel, uh, some hotels, I have videos of those hotels and I, I already um, explained there what are the hotels that accept deliveries, what are the hotels that accept uh, gifts from the relatives, because some some passengers they take the um, hotels near to their house so their relatives can can uh, send food to them